While leaders have gathered at a Swiss mountain resort on Saturday to pressure Russia to end its war in Ukraine and map out a path to peace. However, the peace summit has notable absences such as China. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has affirmed that the peace formula will unite the world. He prompted that uh, even though Russia's aggression persists, the world is stronger together. The views, ideas and leadership of each nation are equally important to us. And everything that will be agreed upon at the summit today will be part of the peacemaking process that we all need. I believe that we will witness history being made here at the summit. U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris announced over 1.5 billion U.S. dollars in aid in part for Ukraine's energy sector and its humanitarian situation as a result of Russia's 27-month invasion of Ukraine. The $1.5 billion aid includes $500 million U.S. dollars in new funding for energy assistance. Italian Prime Minister Giorgia Meloni slammed Russian President Vladimir Putin's demand that Ukraine should surrender before any peace talks. It seems to me that if President Putin's proposal is to be open to a peace negotiation, if Ukraine recognizes the invasion of itself, and even more so, if it gives up parts of those regions that are now under its control, let us say here that it does not seem particularly effective as a negotiation proposal to tell Ukraine that it must withdraw from Ukraine. China, along with Brazil, is pushing a separate peace plan for Ukraine that calls for the participation of both warring parties. Moscow has voiced its support for Beijing's efforts to end the conflict. Zelensky is hoping to put Ukraine's plight firmly back in the diplomatic spotlight after months of heavy global focus on the Gaza war. The conference, underpinned by elements of a 10-point peace formula presented by Zelensky in late 2022, is seen as a largely symbolic effort on the part of Kyiv to rally the international community and project strength against Russian might. But the question looming over the summit will be how the two countries can eventually end the war without Moscow attending. The conflict has also led to international sanctions against nuclear-armed Russia and raises tensions between NATO and Moscow. The summit comes as Russian forces have been making modest territorial gains in eastern and northeastern Ukraine. For all the latest news, download the Wion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.